Yeah. And you mentioned before um, about creatives and about, you know, people that do have that um, extra dose of, of empathy or, or sensitivity and people that just need to paint and write and yeah. create. They, they can't, they literally die if they don't do it, you know. Um, I was wondering if you had some advice for people that can't like recognize, I suppose, on a rational level that unfortunately we live in a world where we all need to make money and we need to do all these things for money so we can survive. How to balance that with just this unbelievable spiritual need to just have the, that, you know, creative flow. Yeah. Hey, the universe put me in Hollywood, Los Angeles, <clears throat> believing for many years that, you know, I was supposed to be an actor and, you know, did some work as an actor. But as I like to say, I wanted acting more than it wanted me. Oh, yeah. And the universe, every time I've tried to leave and go live somewhere else, it's like, no, no, you got to work with these people. So I've gotten to study the creme de la creme of wounded, traumatized, but extremely gifted artist and i and i it's fascinating i i you know on spotify <clears throat> there's one uh, recording that's the creative expression i mean i i know to me one of the greatest religions on this planet is creative expression oh, and i see it do religion. more totally. healing you know with people and i understand you know, and can see it and, and understand the compartmentalization of people that have been traumatized and wounded and abused so terribly, but then they were able to escape into this imaginative place and mm. therefore have made, you know, a life and career out of using that talent, but also understand <clears throat> that, you know, whether it was a split or you know, and have to help uh, those people a lot of times when they get away from their creativity and move into some trauma or pain or addiction, be like, no, 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 just get back to finishing that movie script, yes. finish that album, do that production. And they're like, well, yeah, no, no, and I'm like, no, 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 just get back to that. It'll be, everything will fix itself. And lo and behold, I don't hear from them for two, three, four, five years, and then get another 911 call. And they're like, hey, it's me. I'm in trouble again. Can I come and see you? And I'm like, okay, but maybe we could just cut to the chase. What are you doing? You know, and some people have been able to be like, just finish your damn movie. Go on, get back. Stop. Get off the whatever. And, and um, But usually one session, I don't see them again for years because we can – convince them, you know, in a very easy way of confrontation to say, do you want to end it now or do you want to get back to re your real purpose? Um, and boom, they're back out the door. And I don't, again, I don't need to see them again because yeah. if they're creating it, it uses that energy. Yes. If you don't use the energy, then it uses you. So. I got to study that in college with, you know, like it was another dorm over was the football team. And every season where they had a weekend where they weren't playing that weekend, they would be getting arrested, thrown in jail, throwing furniture because they weren't playing the game, you know. Totally. And it was like, but if they just had eight games straight in a row, they were perfect, you know. Mm. Very little trouble, but the weekend they had off, man, all heck would break loose. So, you know, it's there's many ways to look at it. Highly creative people are the same way. If they're not using that energy, it'll use them, and they can move into dark places with it. So, yeah. Uh, so for me, the creatives are fascinating. I love, um, you know. Uh, I'll constantly when I'm teaching and working, there's always singers and performers and writers around me in the midst of everything we're doing. I'm having them sing and having them read the writing, having them 
express themselves, which then helps the whole atmosphere of people who are too afraid to express. But then you have this singer or this artist or this guitar player or this writer who knows if I don't, this is something I'm gifted at and, oh, I've got something here in my back pocket, you know. And so for me, that's the way I bake the cake and weave it all together is always using the creative expression in the midst of teaching breath work, teaching healing, teaching all the stuff that we do. Mm. So.